This is the this opinion. This really of bothers me. you, doesn't this is it? Not, this is not the you opinion. Want, uh, this is not the opinion of Les Shapiro or the Denver Post or any of our staff. This is the opinion of me. But when you're a color commentator and a guy makes a catch like that, and all you can say is, "Oh, oh, oh," really, really. Why are you so hard on the announcers? Have you ever noticed? In uh, why am I hard on them? They're not good, but. The other reason why I'm hard on them, the truth is, uh, beyond the, that they're not very good, they're, they're mediocre. I said, this is not the opinion of him. I'm answering your question Thank now. You. Just a, but the, they act like the Denver Post. That, you know, and I'm going to talk to your buddies that talk to you. Do you know who they showed last night? Tracy Ringles to be an old he fart that's out of, you know, he sits in there. and uh, they, they treat him as if the sky, he sets the sky. Troy Rink and Jimmy Armstrong and Patrick Saunders and the guys that we've had out there over the years, not once have they ever mentioned a story in the Denver Post. Not once. So, you want to say who started this whole thing? The only time they ever mention the Denver Post, and they won't even do it by name. Guess what, guys? Here, help me out. You want to get mad at me? The Post owns part of the Colorado Rockies. Mm -hmm. you're, you're chewing on your owners. But... You know, I thought about this because I know they've come down hard on you. Hey, come to me. I'm a big boy. Don't go to Les. He didn't say it. I said it. <laughs> come to me. I'm right here. Everybody knows how to find me. I'll come in the game. I will stand in the media room and wait for them to come in there. They would go, oh, there's a columnist in the paper. And, and I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about Mark Kisla. Oh, he wrote a story. They wasn't any good. They wouldn't even mention the name of the newspaper. Rocky Mountain News died. That was their best friends was Rocky Mountain News. Well, guess what? That's... So I, it, it wasn't started here. I just decided I was going to tell the truth. Two of the guys are friends of mine, were, until last week. <laughs> One of them I've had great respect for, Jerry Schimmel. What he went through with the plane crash and the job he did with the Denver Nuggets. But Jerry would be fine with me if they didn't have that other guy whose name I don't know because I never wanted his name in my mind. They're just average. The TV crew is average. And Jeff, and I didn't say their names, so I like, Jeff's response, color man, analyst. Oh, oh, re listen to it again. I heard it again today and I went, that's the best you got. That's the best you got. The opinions are mine. They're not the Denver Post. They're not Jimmy Orr. They're not Les Shapiro. <laughs> they're not <laughs> Josh. They're not Vinny. They're not. Destiny. All the other destiny, all the other people over there, they're, they're not their opinions. They're my opinion. Am I allowed to have an opinion? Of course you are. Well, if they don't like my <laughs> Just opinion. Just don't drag me into it anymore. <laughs> give me a sign. I'll hold, up my, I'll hold up my cell phone number, and they can call me and tell me. But I, they're the ones who, I mean, I'm not trying to finish it. I'm just, I said it the other day. Very few people are watching. Yeah, but how, how much of that has to do with the product on the field, Wood? It's been really bad well, it's recently. Yeah. Uh, oh, I listened to the Cardinals, and they stunk in the 50s. I listened to them. I said, you know, you want to get me back down that line again? Okay, I just wanted to say that the analyst last night, his best... I, I, would, like to, best, I would like to say... His best analyst, analytic look at that was, oh, oh... Oh. I, I would like to say that I, I think uh, Jerry and Jack on radio are, are very, very nice people. And, uh, and I think the TV guys do a very solid job. Yeah. And, I think, and, and, and I think it's getting better and better. They're, they're, actually, they're actually making poignant, critical remarks in the last couple of years, which, which hadn't been the case before that. I hope all of you get a ballroom at the... <laughs> Holiday and Express, they just sit around and pat each other on the back, give each other okay. Is this right. what, what does this say? <laughs> this is my cell phone is number. Is there a phone number? <laughs> yeah. This is it. Phone number for the show? Is that my phone number? 954. That's, That's the studio it. number. 303 954 1290. Or you can <laughs> Skype us at the underscore sports underscore uh, uh, and show. Here, and here's my number, because I don't want to have to go. 303 954 one zero nine five. Let me repeat that. Three oh three nine five four one zero nine five. You can call me. There's a guy that calls me every day and he takes the full four minutes. If you want to do that, that's fine. Because I'll listen to the first twenty, thirty seconds. So call me.